Well, right now, a jury is deliberating the fate of Jennifer Crumley for her role in her son's deadly shooting at a Michigan high school. Crumley, along with her husband James, are each facing four counts of involuntary manslaughter. The high-profile case marks the first time the parents of a school shooter have faced those charges related to their child's crime. Prosecutors say the two bought their son, Ethan, a semi-automatic weapon as a gift, which he later used in the shooting. Ethan Crumley pleaded guilty to shooting and killing four students and injuring several others back in 2021. News Nation's Alex Capriello is live at the courthouse in Pontiac, Michigan. And Alex, we are just hearing they brought Jennifer back in. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm getting breaking news updates from our producer who's situated inside the courtroom while I'm live out here with you. Basically, what I'm hearing is that the prosecution, the defense, and Jennifer Crumley are all back inside the courtroom right now after only about two and a half hours of deliberation. The judge is taking her seat. And uh, actually, I just heard that there is a question from the jury. We thought that perhaps they had already reached their verdict, but it seems like that's not the case as of yet. That falls in line with what I'm hearing from legal experts about this case, which is that it was not an open and shut case when it comes to evidence. It was not a slam dunk where we might see a guilty verdict unanimously almost immediately. That it is a little bit more difficult, perhaps, for a jury to come to uh, consensus here. Uh, some of the options that we're talking about, maybe a hung jury where there's not unanimous decision. It's one way or the other, depending on the jury member, or even potentially calls for a mistrial, in which case the prosecution would have to think it over, decide whether or not they want to try Jennifer Crumbly all over again, or maybe just settle for a lesser charge. So obviously, a lot of importance uh, on this case, given that it is unprecedented. The jury members certainly want to make sure they get it right. The courtroom, including the judge, wants to make sure they get it right. So as of right now, while we do know that they are inside the courtroom right now, it does appear at this time, no verdict yet, just a question from the jury as they continue their deliberations. All right, really interesting, Alex, thank you. So how did Jennifer Crumley appear today in court? What was her demeanor? Yeah, I'll tell you, she looked the same as she has for the past two weeks or so. In general, I would say she looks rather defeated every time she enters the courtroom, as she listens to witness testimony, as she watches evidence. Most of the time, Kelly, she's keeping her head down low. Obviously, we've all seen the video from last week when she took to the uh, witness stand and testified on her own behalf, and it was waterworks, right? She was crying very heavily, admitting to the courtroom that she felt as if she failed her son failed as a parent in general. So that's really been her demeanor all this time. It's what her demeanor was today. I will say she was in street clothes earlier today, black uh, blouse, black pants with a white shawl. She does come in cuffed every single day, uh, but they do uncuff her while she sits down and watches the uh, hearings unfold. And she is facing involuntary manslaughter. Uh, Alex, what are the expectations for sentencing? Could she face jail time here? Yeah, this is very important because it is unprecedented. In Michigan, involuntary manslaughter charges carry a maximum penalty of 15 years of prison time. Now, keep in mind, she has four counts of involuntary manslaughter, four for each of the students that were killed in that mass shooting in 2021. So if a judge decides to run those sentences, if found guilty, if a judge decides to run those sentences consecutively, that could be a maximum time of 60 years in prison. But based on what I'm hearing from some of the legal experts I know, if they say that given that Jennifer Crumley does not have a criminal history to date, uh, that it's actually more likely that a judge would show some level of sympathy, run those charges concurrently, in which case she would serve 15 years maximum sentence in prison. All right. Well, we will certainly be keeping eyes on this case for any breaking news that may emerge. Alice Capriello. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.